Hello my friends, welcome to Forex VKS. So today is September 11th, uh. okay, uh, this was the, one of, uh, the day that, uh, the same day, right, of the year that the US got attacked. But hopefully this type of things doesn't happen anymore, okay, stay safe. Now we got a new, uh, new threat in this world, right, last time was war, right, now it's a virus. Okay, hopefully we stay safe and uh, do our... Uh, protection okay take our precautionary protection to protect ourselves and take the vaccine if possible okay let's check out the introduction first disclaimer be advised that i am not a professional financial consultant or advisor I am sharing this information for education purpose only. Any opinions, news, research, analysis, prices, or other information contained on this video is my own opinion and does not constitute investment advice. I will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation to any loss of profit, money, asset or any valuables which may arise directly or indirectly from use of information in this video. Okay, before we start, just a quick reminder, remember to support the channel, okay, do subscribe to my channel, if you think this channel is valuable to you, we talk about Forex, we talk about indexes, we also talk about crypto, okay, so uh, remember to also like and share the channel with your friend, okay, like it, pump up the like for me and also share this with your friend or, or, or your Facebook group or your uh, WhatsApp group, whoever, okay, uh, in, uh, whoever is interested in trading Forex, right? Okay, remember, check out Forex with KS, okay, any, any activity after that, okay, any interesting uh, uh, topic or any interesting uh, trade, okay, after, the, after my morning video, remember, every day, 11 o'clock, okay, around 11 o'clock in the Singapore time, uh, okay, I will post, uh, my uh, daily daily video okay and sunday uh, saturday we we'll post our weekly forecast for next week uh. okay so this morning i was a bit early so i already post out okay i already post the the, the possible trick going to next week okay possible trick going to pound usd euro usd okay aud usd so i already posted it a bit early today anyway okay the the setup okay the setup is important but the most important thing is we need to know why okay why we why the setup exists i mean how do we come to this setup okay the reason behind the setup what do we see what why do we execute right so, so that's the most important thing following a signal following a setup is very easy but how do you find a setup that is what we want to find out here Okay, what we want to share here, rather than I just tell you a signal. Where forever, we just follow. But you know, we want you to exercise a bit, exercise your brain a bit, right? So, learn how to find the signal. Okay, so if, if once we are successful in doing, finding correct signal, right, ourselves, right, then we could be on the way to financial independence, right? Means you don't need to, not to say financial independence, at least you don't need to go to work, right? If you like work, then it's okay. But if you if you don't like work, then this could be a way out for you, okay? But remember, everything need hard work, huh? Okay, there's no magic, okay? A magic spell, okay? Just get a just just follow this signal, you become millionaire, right? How many of your friends follow signal become millionaire? Okay, so we have to know why we need to do this and how to do this, and okay, and then only we will be successful. Okay, so the whole week yesterday, right? Check out the check out the calendar. Okay, we have a we have a strengthening USD, uh, Okay, strengthening USD. The jobs are opening was good on Wednesday. Okay, then the Friday the PPI number also was good, right? Okay, so we got a strengthening USD from last week, uh, From last week, a big drop from last week. So a lot of people traded the uh, a lot of people, a lot of investors sold the USD after the bad job numbers huh? okay after the bad job numbers last week which is here 
non-farm employment change number extremely bad and the non-farm employment change extremely bad so everybody was selling this right so but at, but at the end of the week the price reversed right so uh as i said okay if you if you can make a lot of money trading the news right you just sit in front of bloomberg tv or just every day just keep on refresh forex forex factory right then you become millionaire i wish it's that easy you think uh, do you think that the central bank will leave, you make it so easy for you to become millionaire so the price reversed right after everybody going for shorting the usd usd strengthen okay so uh, you see um, an unemployment claim also improved okay uh, usd jobs opening also improved ppi numbers also improved okay so everybody got caught selling the usd okay so we did we did executed two signal uh, okay buying usd which is profitable okay this whole week we will go through that shortly after okay shortly after this so we see a okay, case slightly strengthening uh, strengthening uh, you uh, uh, cat okay a uh, good PAM, P, pmi number euro okay keep kept the financing policy so there's no no big changes in euro and uh okay not that much of a uh, not that much of a uh, news uh, okay for this whole week Okay, not not a lot of bad big news. Let's look at let's look at next week, huh? So next week there is a bit more activity, right? Next week, uh, a lot um, uh, a lot more activity, but not to say there is a lot of uh, direction changes activity, but there is a lot of activity. So Monday we don't have any big one. So Tuesday we got uh, government law speaking for Australia. Then we got a CPA number coming also. Okay, if the CPA number comes out good, okay, the USD will further strengthen. Uh, so watch out for the CPI numbers. So we got uh, retail sales in China. Uh, this one, okay, we'll see uh, year year over year. This one, we'll see any. This one, right, will will not affect directly on uh, on uh, USD or Euro, but it will affect uh, it will affect Australian Aussie Aussie dollar and New Zealand dollar. Uh, okay, the Aussie and the New Zealand dollar. Okay, NZD and the AUS AUD. Sorry. Okay, that's uh, because China is uh, one of the big importer of uh, goods uh, from uh, Australia and New Zealand. Okay, so uh, New Zealand, Australia, New Zealand depend a lot of the uh, China's uh, economy to grow. Uh. So we got CPI number again coming yearly. Okay, uh, for pound uh, on Wednesday. Okay, this is on Tuesday. Just now what we talk about was on Tuesday. So Wednesday have to watch out pound, have to watch out can okay CPI number coming in also, and also uh, US production, uh, uh, industrial production uh, okay numbers for the US and uh, crude oil inventory, okay so this one, uh, okay this one will, will my, Tuesday we have an impact uh, okay on the on the uh, on the USD, okay direction change, unlikely but there will be an impact okay so Wednesday also. Okay, there will be a lot of impact, but that dire big direction change doesn't look like it. Okay, look at Thursday. Okay, Thursday we might have one GDP on the New Zealand dollar. Okay, AUD employment change and employment rate. So they do expect. Okay, do they do expect a a drop? Uh, okay, for NZD, uh, the GDP. Uh, so they do expect a drop. And AUD unemployment also drop. Okay, and employment rate also increase. Uh, so AUD. Australia, their their economy outlook is not so good, uh, Okay, not so good, uh, So they are expecting a drop, uh, in their economy. Okay, and Thursday also we got President Lagarde speak, ACB, and in the evening we got this uh, US, uh, Okay, call retail sales, retail sales, uh, manufacturing index and unemployment claims, uh, Okay, so this one, uh, not very very big impact, but it will it it will actually if. Let's say USD is going fast, right? It's going down or, or it's gaining strength. So if this number come on uh, negative, not negative, right? Below expectation, right? It will certainly slow down the USD. Uh, but a big directional change, I don't see it, okay, yet. Uh, unlikely, right? I'm not saying it won't, but unlikely, uh, okay? Big directional change, uh, direction change, I unlikely. But uh, we wait and see, okay? So uh, Friday, we got retail sales on pound and USD, uh, uh, consumer sentiment. 
Okay, even if the cost direction change, right, it will be a short term. Okay, will not a very, very, very be a very long term direction change. Doesn't look like it. All this uh, data coming out, but anything could happen, uh, in the forex. Okay, don't take anything for granted, and uh, and uh, anything prepare for anything. Okay, prepare for anything, right? Okay, let's dive into the chart. So DXY, right? Okay, we are expecting the DXY to weaken, right? And it did not, right? You see, uh, everybody expect a weaker US, uh, weaker uh, USD, right? But we, we, we also think that USD will be weakened. But okay, as the price action printed out, okay, a good signal, okay, the signal is always better than our our speculation okay we are speculating right that the usd will be weakened but the signal is telling us okay the price action is telling us what the everybody including the institution is thinking okay what are the sentiment what they want to do we follow what the big institution want to do okay rather than our own speculation right if our speculation is correct right okay everybody will become millionaire right so easy right we just speculate uh usd is going down right so we see this going down so we keep on sell right but by the time that everybody want to start to sell over here right okay the price reverse right okay so so look at this printed another tail bar something like a pin bar something like a tail bar at support one okay support one so this one right we are still buying this right remember okay we are still buying this huh okay so there is a possibility that the price might still go up but this is not a very strong signal i don't like this very much because this is not a well developed pin bar okay this bar is a tail bar and a close green okay uh okay not quite good close green is quite good mm, but it's uh let me see uh let me double check let me zoom in a bit make it clearer what the bar looks like Okay, this is a positive tail bar. Okay, this is a positive tail bar. Okay, so this is opportunity to buy. Okay, opportunity to buy towards resistance one ninety two point one nine. Okay, so this one let me highlight this uh tail bar. Okay. Okay, so opportunity to buy uh towards resistance one. So this one. Actually, if you if you if you zoom into it, this is also a one two three, okay, continuation a uh, one two three continuation, okay. But we will buy after the break of the pin bar, okay. Means the price continue to break above the pin bar, we'll go in a bit early, okay. So remember, all trade must put stop loss, stop loss, uh, okay. All trade must put stop loss. Uh. Normally, we put the stop loss below the pin bar, okay. Don't trade without stop loss unless you are. You already win a lot of money from the market. You are very, very expert. Okay, you already in this industry for many, many years. You already make a lot of money. Maybe you can use mental stop loss. Okay, they call it mental stop loss means you feel now is you need to stop. You need to cut. Then you cut. Okay, it's not that you don't put a fixed stop loss. Okay, if you're new here, you are learning. Better put a fixed stop loss below the pin bar. Okay, so target is resistance one. Okay, so this one flag it. Okay, possible trade. Euro USD. Okay, uh, also a tail bar similar, right? A tail bar over here, okay. Euro USD, a tail bar over here, but there's a resistance over here, support one, right? Okay, so it just stopped at support, stop short of support one, okay. Did a consolidation, so very simple. Simply put, we got a consolidation over here, right? Just exactly at the support, okay. So what we want to do is a break, okay, a, a break of this consolidation area will be an opportunity to sell towards support two, okay. So we got two confluence, okay, two two confluence over here, okay. One is a, okay, one is the breakout momentum, right? Consolidation, uh, okay, a breakout momentum, okay, indicate that break below, uh, okay, indicate that there is a possible downwards momentum. Secondly, okay, we got a resistance here. Okay, a break below this resistance means okay, resistance broken. Most likely, the price will continue to go down. Okay, so we got a formation of a consolidation break, possible a good sign. And secondly, we got a break of a uh, 
support resistant area right which is this uh, support area then we got a good it will be a good opportunity to shot towards our support too if the price break above okay then we have to wait for the price to come back to resistant one rebound then only we want to okay go for another uh, short opportunity right so we are shorting this because we are shorting the euro USD because this is still okay the idea is still sell uh, okay this is still a downtrend okay to a downtrend. So USDJPY, the idea is sit with our hand in our pocket. Okay, so this is still a choppy sideways price action. We are not trading this. No, no, no. I'm not trading this. Okay, this is just way too choppy, too crazy to trade. AUD USD. Okay, we got a pin bar over here. So the price went up. We got a pin bar, a consolidation, a pin bar looks like the one price wants to go down, but, the, but we got an issue over here. We got an issue. Okay, we got an issue over here. What's the issue? Okay, what's the big issue over here? The issue is, okay, if we sell this pin bar, right? Yes, we are selling this, uh, we are selling this. So this pin bar actually touches this resistant one, right? Okay, so we got confluence at uh, resistant. Okay, we got a uh, pin bar, the first confluence, okay, the pin bar. The second conference is a resistance, okay. The third conference is a downtrend, right? So we are, are trading, okay, following the trend. So we got three conference over here. But the problem is we got a resistance over here, support one, okay. So this one taking this X taking this uh trade, right? Have to be very careful. If you if we buy on the break of this print bar, right, we have to watch support one. Support one cannot hold, return back, okay. Maybe we put to break even, okay, break even. Okay, or you we pull our stop loss initially from uh, below the candle, right? Below this uh, pin bar, maybe pull halfway to the pin bar. Okay, so make it safer. Or okay, or wait for a four hour break below this. Okay, it breaks below, you don't go in first. After a four hour break below the support one, then maybe only you go in look for target support two, zero point seven two three seven. Okay, from Okay, a break of a uh, zero point seven three one nine. Okay, a sell opportunity towards zero point seven two three seven. Okay, so this is a possible trade over here, but this is you have to be very careful. Okay, have to be cautious about this uh, support one. USD cat, USD cat, uh, a bit difficult to trade. Okay, why? We got a tail bar on the top, tail bar at the bottom. So this is a no man's land. So this is the price is being squeezed in the middle, uh, okay. So we don't want to trade this until okay we got a proper signal, which is the price come back here and sub resistant one, okay, a good signal over here with enough room to trade. Okay, we have a pin bar here actually. We do have a pin bar here, right? That we get tradable, but the problem is we don't have enough room to trade, right? Because there's a resistance over here. Okay, there's a resistance over here at a resistance to one point two seven four six. We have problem with uh, 1.2746 over here, so there's no no room for us to buy. Okay, no room to buy into. So this one we have to wait and see. Possibly we want to wait for the price to go through resistance two. Okay, go through resistance two only we will start to buy. Okay, or if the price comes back down to resistance one, printed a very bullish price action, maybe we want to go for a buy. Okay, so this is still. Uh, Okay, we got a we got a good printer pin bar. Okay, we for for a uh, execution for a uh, buy trade, but we don't have the room to trade. Okay, no room to trade. Pound USD. Okay, uh, we make we profited from these two trade. Uh, okay, this trade right, this pin bar towards. Okay, towards here. Okay, we profited profited from this trade, and also we profited from this trade the pound USD. Okay, this one towards the support one right so this one both I posted in my okay both both I posted in my uh, Twitter let me double check I remember I posted it here yeah okay pound USD uh, okay Towards target support one and a uh, euro USD okay target towards support one uh, okay but but the 
index is in danger. Uh, okay, and later we talk about index. Index have to be very careful. Okay, so we got two profit trade here, and also got now for next week onwards, we got we will have our three opportunity: DXY, Euro USD, and AUD USD. Okay, and uh, and pound USD. Uh, so four. Uh, okay, you you AUD is a bit dangerous. Uh, okay, because of the resistance over here. So I got posted here. The this one is a bit more dangerous. Okay. This one, okay. AUD, you see a bit more dangerous. Huh? It got a warning sign here. Okay, so you go through that. So, uh, pound. Okay, another pin bar, right? Another pin bar hammer. Okay, hammer pin bar here, similar to this. Okay, the same signal printed out again. So we're gonna take. Okay, we're gonna take the same signal. Okay, this pin bar towards sell towards support one, one point three. 741 okay from one point uh from this uh this support er this resistance area 1.38894 okay so if the price do break above okay then we want to change our bias to, to buy uh, okay so for this okay we have another signal that's why we have to know why why we want to sell okay because we got confluence here price is below our bias line price is printed a rejection pin bar at our bias line right so okay, NZD USD, NZD USD price is at our no go zone. Uh, remember our bias line, uh, our bias zone. Uh, this one is not line zone. Uh. Sell to support, buy to resistance. So this we are not doing anything until the price breakthrough here or breakthrough below. Okay, the price breakthrough below support one, then only we might want to go for sell or the price breakthrough resistance one. Okay, then only. Okay, or possible this area 0 0.71721 uh, one, two, three, one, two, three continuation uh, okay only we want to go for buy okay do so this one we are not doing anything go go is still sideways okay we can take away this box okay uh we have a consolidation here actually there's a possible sell uh, after break of this consolidation uh, okay we got the price doing a railroad track over here so we got this uh the resistance okay which is our bias line resistance one so the price looks like you want to go down. There's a possible a trade, but this is not, not my favorite. Okay, there's a possible trade. Huh? If the price break through this railroad track, okay, this is a consolidation area, which is uh, 1.780. Uh, uh, sorry, 1.780. Okay, if it breaks through 1.780, there is a possible sell opportunity here, but this is not my favorite trade. Okay, this is not my favorite trade. Because price... Generally, generally, right? If you look at the big picture, right, it's still in a sideways price action, uh, So this is not running sideways. I'm not too keen, uh. Okay, so uh, AUD is it start to break through, uh, break through our support area. So looks like it's coming down to S two. Wait and see, okay? You will execute a buy opportunity once the price rebound from S two, uh. Okay, S two, which is our seven four seven two four three. The DAX, so the DAX also broke below resistance. So okay, this one looks like the price coming down to support one. Wait for bullish price section at support one, support two. Okay, for a buy for buy opportunity. Yeah, okay. These two area for buy opportunity. Nasdaq, Nasdaq also start to crash. Okay, Nasdaq also starts to crash. Uh, this one, as I said, okay. If you if you already in profit. Pull your stop loss to break even. Okay, this one might 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 come back down to support too. Dow Jones also market broke outside this uh this uh channel already. So looks like it broke to a support two. Also looks like it's going back to support three. Uh, okay. So wait for a possible bullish uh, buy action. Okay, buy opportunity at support support two. Support three. Sorry, support three. Okay. S and P. S and P also started a big break below here. Okay. So S and P. If you buy the one two three break right one two three break which is here right I put your stop loss to break even uh, okay somewhere somewhere around break even because this look like u.s market 
quite wobbly uh, okay maybe you want to crash down uh, okay to protect yourself first so this one looks like okay we want to go for buy opportunity already plus support one so they are looking for support two for a uh, buy opportunity rebound and support two uh, okay possible rebound and support two for a uh, buy opportunity we are still buying this uh, okay because it's still uptrend so Bitcoin doing nothing doing not 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 much okay slowly still going down a little bit okay so this is uh after this big push right now it's having a correction uh, okay we just have to wait for a correction to finish only I think the next push will continue okay so uh correction okay all these are correction having doing a correction uh. all the crypto uh, after a big push now the correction which is normal okay which is normal so this one we have to wait for the correction to finish okay before an another leg up okay hopefully another leg up okay so this one continue to hold remember like and share my video support this channel subscribe every day 11 o'clock singapore time uh we will have this uh uh our daily review daily forecast and also every saturday we got a weekly forecast okay so remember support the channel like share and subscribe see you again on monday morning happy trading happy weekend bye bye